Let's find the values of a and b, given that the square root of a plus the square root of b is equal to 7, and the square root of a plus b is equal to 5. We can decide to call this equation 1 and call this equation 2. Now, we're going to be starting from equation 2. Now, equation 2, we have the square root of a plus b to be equal to 5. Now, to get rid of this square root, we just have to square both sides. Now, notice that this square cancels out the square roots, leaving behind a plus b to be equal to 5 squared is 25. I can call this equation 3. Now, our next step will be for us to pay attention to equation 1. So, I'll say from equation 1. Equation 1, we have the square root of a plus the square root of b to be equal to 7. We also have to take the square of both sides. So, I'll take the square of the left. I'll also take the square of the right. Now, the left-hand side is of the form x plus y or squared, which when expanded will be x squared plus 2xy plus y squared. Now, we're going to be expanding this in this form. So, on expansion, we have the square root of a squared plus 2 times the square root of a b plus the square root of b squared. That is it. And this is equal to the right hand side 7 squared is 49. Now notice that this square cancels out the square root. So we have a plus this is 2 times the square root of a b plus now, this square cancels out the square root, so we have b to be equal to 49. Now, notice that we have here a plus b. And from equation 3, a plus b is 25. So, we can decide to replace that with 25. So, we say 25 plus 2 root a b is equal to 49. Now, let's move 25 to the right-hand side. So, we have 2 root AB to be equal to 49. And as 25 crosses to the right, it becomes minus 25. Very good. Now, simplifying, we have 2 root AB to be equal to 49 minus 25 is 24. Now, let's divide both sides by 2. Now, dividing both sides by 2, these two cancels out, leaving behind the square root of AB to be equal to 24 divided by 2 is 12. Now, to get rid of this square root, we have to square both sides. Now, squaring both sides, this square cancels out the square root, leaving behind AB to be equal to 12 squared is 144. Now we've got another equation, so we can call this equation 4. Now recall that equation 3 is a plus b equal to 25. This is equation 3. Now we're going to be solving for a and b. And now looking at these two equations, you find out that these equations are symmetric which means the position of A and B does not matter because we're going to be yielding the same results. Now, to get the values of A and B, we can say let A and B be the roots of the equation. The equation. Now, I'm going to be writing a quadratic equation, which will be, let's use X x squared minus the sum of roots x plus the product of roots equal to zero so p is the sum of roots 
while q is the product of roots so this is x squared minus sum of roots the sum is our equation 3 which is a plus b that is 25 so this is 25 x plus product of roots which is a b is 144 so 144 equal to 0 so what are the factors of 144 I'm going to choose negative 9 and negative 16 so negative 9 times negative 16 gives 144 and when I add them together I get negative 25 so I'll be multiplying two brackets together now x times x gives x squared now these are the factors I got which is negative 9 and negative 16 this is equal to 0 so there are two cases from here we see that x minus 9 is equal to 0 or x minus 16 is equal to 0 so from here we see that x is equal to 9 or x is equal to 16 so in this case we say that the values of a and b are a can be 9 y b can be 16 or a can be 16 y b can be 9 since the equations are symmetric now let's check we want to check if the values of a and b are actually correct by plugging them into our original equation so check now from equation one we have the square root of a a is 9 plus the square root of b b is 16 are we going to have 7 the square root of 9 is 3 plus the square root of 16 is 4 now notice that 3 plus 4 is 7 which is actually equal to the right hand side so you can see that it is very much correct now if you want to check further you can also plot them into equation 2 so the square roots of a plus b which is 9 plus 16 are we going to have 5 this gives the square roots of 9 plus 16 is 25 are we going to have 5 actually the square root of 25 is 5 which is also equal to the right hand side so you can see that our values are very much correct well feel free to share your ideas in the comment section below and if you enjoyed this video and have learned something from this video go ahead and give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't turn on the notification bell so you don't miss my upcoming videos and like i always say until next time take care